Terra Cruiser and Mace Missile, what a beast. Find out more right here on Gary's Stuff. Hello there, I'm Gary, welcome to my channel and welcome back if you've been here before. Today is the second day of build on this, the Terra Cruiser and Mace Missile set in 132nd scale from Renwall Blueprint Models. Now on day one, I've already built the MM1 unit, the tractor unit at the front. Today is all about building the missile trailer and the missile. And the next video will be about painting the figures that come with it. How will you know when that video pops up? Well, the thing to do is to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you'll be notified when all my future videos are released. And of course, anything you like, please do remember, imperial thumbs up on the like button below, because every like counts. And if you want to offer a bit more concrete support to the channel, you can do that through Super Thanks by becoming a channel member or by going through any of my online partner programs or a bit like Nick Johnson did send me a kit to build this one Nick has been amazing thank you so much for it okay let's get on then and build the trailer and missile from this set of the Terra Cruiser and Mace from Renwall in one 30 second scale first piece that goes together are these extensions to the frame sit together like this there's one on each side then we have this really long frame it's one of the two main frames of the trailer and we have this deck that goes along the top and just simply glue the two together you might need some tape and some clamps two. The extension goes into the end of the frame, like so. It's, uh, what you must remember is that the uh, pin piece coming up here with the, with the socket on it stays on the same side as this part of, with the cutout on it. Three. And here's the front deck here, and the beams fit on them, onto it like this. You notice this one actually says left. And this one doesn't. And then there's a blanking piece here at the end. And you'll see the one end has got an, a notch taken out of the square. That's because it fits in only this way round. It won't fit any other way round. And then glue it all up, tape it all up. And the next thing here is the pivot plate. It sits up here on top of the rear wall and then clips over the front of the rear wall and make sure that that uh, beveled piece is on this side. On each corner of this um, trailer, the, the missile carrier here, there's a hydraulic ram that sort of uh, does all the levelling. comes in two halves with an end cap, so there are four of these to build. Now these uh, hydraulic rams fit into the holes here and you'll notice they actually all have completely different, all four have different shapes here so the correct ram goes into the correct hole which is very good. Then the jack brace here goes into this hole and then sits into this hole on the side of the jack like so. And then this bracket goes into place into the side of the jack and slips in underneath the beam, like so. Same for the other side. And next, these um, pinions brackets for the elevating torque tube go on. Now the two halves of the elevating boom go together 
these will need to be taped up and then glued up. It's quite a lot here. There you go, it clicks into place. Okay, this is designed so that you can raise and lower the launch platform uh, once you've made it. So a lot of these parts don't get glued together. And that bit goes in like that. This top bit goes into here. Like so. There we go, like this. Then this other bracket goes in place here. Okay, so this link moves and this link moves. That's the idea. If you glue the two halves of this together further down in here, that will stay together and then these can still move. Then when this brace is set, we can put in these side arms. One slots in here with the pin going there and the other slots in on the other side. There we go. Right, so then when this is glued, this will still be able to move like so. The a hinge mechanism goes in there and then this axle goes in again we don't glue it in because all these parts need to move and the same on the other boom Now there is a little tab which sets where this axle settles. Like that. There we go. This this axle with the, the tab forward sits exactly like that. And then we put the actually we probably could have done this first, put this larger axle in at the top. So if we... There's a lot of stuff here that isn't going together with glue and it's kind of um, it's kind of fun trying to get everything to sit right. There we go. There we go. Like this. Then we have the front elevator arms. There's this actuator rod that sits in here. Then the other half clips on like so. We're going to make some um, anchor points for the elevator rams now. It sounds all very exciting, doesn't it? So these parts clip together like so. And then they fit onto this base plate like so. So these two big sort of mounting plates for this ram fit onto this side plate here. And they get glued. This part doesn't get glued. Then these plates go on the underside of the main beams like so. So in the front fork this piece has to go now would have been nice had they mentioned this earlier we could put a lot of these things in when we were gluing them together but maybe it's just they like 
to give us a challenge. Let's be let's be positive about it because we all like a challenge. There we go. So this is the the front cradle for the missile. Um, sits in this piece here like so. Then there are these. Oh, sorry, they get which way around they go. These pieces also go in. Um, these are going to connect to rams on the um, on the main uh, deck, the main main thing, and the rams sort of push push them up. I think I can. Really, I'm really beginning to lose track of how this, these things work, but anyway, for the moment, it's this way around, and of course, the top of the well, actually, the bottoms undersides of these have a bar across to sort of keep them. I was going to say keep them in place, it doesn't exactly keep them in place, does it? Right, so at the front end, this cross beam axle will call you what it will fits in here. Okay, there are rams that go over the pipe like that, and then sit over the anchor point leave those alone for the moment leave that anchor point to dry up just do the other one and then leave them alone it's my advice let that dry up for a while right now at the back end here there's this actuator piece this goes over the end of this and then into the slot there and you can see down here how that bottom mounting goes in at the base of that piston. Now, if you're asking yourself what's holding this whole back end together, it's, <laughs> it's a very good question. What there is, is a tiny spot of glue at the end of this axle here that bonds it into this. Let's line up first. There we go. Now there we go. That's that's all done. That's all we can do. That's that's as much as we can glue up. Um, because everything else has to move. All this stuff has to move. Actually, that doesn't have to move, does it? Yeah. Okay, so I can put some glue in here because that won't hurt anything. Because it doesn't matter if this, oops. Okay, can, doesn't matter if we glue those parts together because they can be glued together. The only thing that can't be glued is this bit these parts inside but outside they definitely can be glued up and we're going to put a clamp on that to keep it in place while it sets so then we have the basic structure of the uh, missile launcher um, transporter and launcher in place here it is and see so you can essentially raise the launcher so sort of that sort of position um, the rocket sits on that and off it goes and yeah. there we go it all still works there's some ancillary pieces to fit starting at this end 
with some lights. Last thing we're going to do is put in the missile cradle, it's this rear part of the missile cradle here. And this fits across this. This would have been a great piece to have earlier when we were trying to keep everything together. Look, that cross piece. Just saying that could have been in a lot, lot earlier in the game. But there we go, it's in there now. Moving on to the Mace Missile. Well, there's not many parts to it, and the first thing to do is just join the top and bottom halves of the fuselage together. Take a bit of alignment. And there we go, tape it up and glue it. At the same time, we can also fit the nose cone. And we can fit the tail cone as well. Right now, I'm going to mount the wing. The Mings uh, does come in two halves. Right, so, yeah, like that. Yeah. Now, the bottom wing has got these two pegs on here. This is when it's mounted against the body. When it's like in transport mode, as it were, the wings sit against the body like this and then they can be moved out into place ready to go um but they don't these are big pegs to have on there when it's flying i'm going to have it deployed as if it's ready for flight so these pegs have got to come off then the wings indeed can just go together there are some mounting shackles that go on the side these connect to the support frame Oops. and I'll particularly use when it launches I wonder I, I suspect there are these launch shackles that need to go into the side like this um, just a little tiny dab of glue to hold them in place and I've blanked off these so these are if you are having the wings in transit they sit against the side of the body and they've got these two locator pins on the wings i've taken the locator pins off the wings and i've blanked out these two holes as well and there's another shackle that goes at the back and it goes upwards like so the tail fin can go in to a slot on the back and like so The tailplane sits on top of the fin, and there's a locking piece that goes in here as well. And then there's this locking piece that goes in up here. And the wings, if you're fitting them in launch position, slot into the top of the fuselage like so. The last real major part of construction is the rocket booster. This, as so many of these things, comes in two halves. Take some time to line them up correctly. There we go. Then they fit together. Then the mounting piece goes on here, like so. And then there's a, a probe that fits up front. In fact, here it is. There we go. That would then be the whole of the rocket engine. Okay, so it's been sprayed with US dark ring all over. Um, I've picked out some of the 
there's a couple of hydronic rams down there. I've just picked up a bit of steel or something like that. Um, so what I'm going to do now is do some, uh, put some wash on. Now I'm going to put onto the paint as it is because this is no a a, um, a water based wash. I don't mind putting it straight on here. It sits really nicely. It doesn't go too dark. Um, just gives a sort of patina, if you will, of something that's been used. But it's, I find it useful to put down water first onto it. Um, I help think think it helps sort of spread the the wash a bit better and make it not quite so immensely harsh as it can be. So I'll just keep putting water on and then once it's all wet we'll put some wash on. Okay, so quite generous now with some dark wash. It looks horrendously dark, but trust me, it dries a lot, lot more gentle than this. Let's gently work it into the space between all of these um, raised bits of the grip on the metal sheet and just go around adding some wash <laughs> okay so the wash has dried up just put on a couple of decals at the side here something us air force because i wouldn't know who it belongs to then these um, jack feet go in these are for when the obviously when the thing stopped and raised the platform to launch. If you're doing this like in travel mode, they fit in here um, through there and then sort of slot behind there. But um, I'm doing mine on the ground, ready to rock and roll, as they say. So take these and put these in here as well. They are a tight fit. I don't know how much of this steel coloured paint will survive the process, but there we go. The last thing to do is to put the wheel bogey on. It fits just fits on here. Now interestingly, um the pictures I've seen of, of these things ready to launch, actually ready to go, um, the wheel bogey is actually turned around by 90 degrees like that, um, presumably to stop the thing rocking, I don't know, but you can't do that on the kit. So it's got to sit on the, yeah, a second ago, there we go, over there. There we go. Then when it's there, you can actually do a bit of um, leveling with these feet. I mean, not actually screw threads, but they you know, take some effort to move. I don't think they actually lifted them off the ground. Maybe they did. Maybe they did actually lift off the ground completely. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, so there we go. So that's the that's the launcher section complete. So we've um, sprayed the whole thing orange, a pink undercoat, then orange, and varnished it. And so next we can start putting on the decals. Then the last thing I need to do really before giving it just a bit of tarting up here and there is to put the rocket motor in. So with the final coat of varnish, the kit can sit on top of the launch rails and my launcher for my Mace missile is complete. There it is. What did I tell you? What a beast of a kit. Um, 
Imagine trying to make this into a diorama, then lugging that around. That's going to be huge. Anyway, I really enjoyed building this. Um, I didn't think I would. Um, I was very intimidated by it when I saw the size of the box. I mean, look at the size of this box, for goodness sakes, it's enormous. Um, but once I made a start on it, I actually really started to enjoy it. The fit, generally speaking, is excellent. I mean, really, really good. The plastic's nice to work with. The result, I think, looks pretty cool. And you can do lots of options on um, updating the missile with different liveries, different markings and so on and so forth, to panel lines and riveting. And all. Yeah, there's so much scope for doing so much more. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I like the kit immensely. If you've enjoyed the video, and I hope you have, please do remember, imperial thumbs up on the like button below. And if you haven't done so yet, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, and you'll be notified of all my future videos as they turn out, including a video on how to paint the figures for this set, which is coming up very soon. In any case, I hope to see you soon on the channel. Take very good care, and I'll see you very soon, I hope. Take care. Now.